Welcome students. In this video we will study about first order reactions and in first order reaction we will start our study with differential rate law then we will see integrated rate law for first order reaction we will see rate constant for first order reaction then we will move to half life of first order reactions and in the end we will discuss a example based on first order reaction so let's start our discussion about first order reaction with the differentiated rate law for first order reactions so okay so for first order reaction the rate reaction rate varies as first power of the concentration of the reactants let's understand this statement with a hypothetical example in which let's say reactant a is reacting to form products so being a for being a first order reaction its reaction rate must be directly proportional to the first power of the concent of the reactant okay in order to eliminate this proportionality sign i have to put here a constant k which is known as yes reaction constant or rate constant okay so uh, this is the rate and rate can be expressed in the form of decrease in concentration of reactant with time why why negative sign because the concentration of reactant decreases and this will be equal to yes k into concentration of a i can rearrange this to write it in this form d a change in concentration of a that is reactant divided by concentration of a is equal to k d t this form of the rate law is known as differential rate law for first order reaction okay next thing which we we are going to study is yes integrated rate law for zero order reaction just we have seen this is the differential rate law okay if i just write it once again that it was da upon a is equal to minus k d t okay now if i integrate this equation this side over a period from a not that is initial concentration of a to a which is final concentration of a and this side sk is constant so i will integrate this dt from 0 to time is equal to t what will we get will be left with ln which is natural log of a minus natural log ln of a not initial concentration is equal to minus k t minus 0 we can rearrange this to write it in this form ln a concentration of a divided by initial concentration of a is equal to minus k t i can rearrange this once again to write it in this form ln a not divided by yes a is equal to k t this is the integrated rate law for first order reactions okay where a not is the initial concentration of a and a t or simply say a let me write it as a t a t is the concentration of a at time t Now the next thing is half life of a first order reaction. What is half life? Yes, the half life of a reaction is defined as the time required to reduce the concentration of the reactant to half of its initial value and it is denoted by T half. Okay. This is the integrated rate law and at half life what we T will be equal to T half and the final concentration will be exactly half of the initial substituting these values in integrated rate law we will be left with we will get an expression in which k is equal to 1 by t half that is half life ln a not divided by a by 2 or this will be 2.303 t1 by 2 log 
Now why this 2.303? Because if we want to calculate natural log into log to the base 10, it is ln is equal to 2.303 log power 10. Okay, so now substituting the values once again, we get k is equal to 0 0.693 upon t half or I can write it that t half, half life of a zero order reaction of a first order reaction is 0 0.693 divided by k. This is the expression for half life of a first order reaction and it gives lot of information about the nature of first order reaction. We will discuss that about now. Okay, so next thing which we will discuss is rate constant for first order reaction. Okay, the rate constant of first order reaction has only time unit. Now why? Why only time unit? Because just we have seen that k is equal to 0 0.693 divided by t half. So from this expression, what we uh, able to know that the, the value of rate constant is independent of the initial value of uh, the concentration of reactant. It is in independent of the concentration of reactant. The rate constant of a first order reaction has only time unit because it only depends on time. So it has only time unit, it has no concentration unit. And the numerical value of K for a first order reaction is independent of the unit in which the concentration is expressed because it does not depend on concentration. So here the unit of time is if it is per second and this one no unit. So the unit of K is yes per second or per minute or per second or per hour depends on what we have taken the unit of uh, time okay so what we find that k the value of k for a first order reaction is independent of the concentration of reactant next thing okay let's write our um, integrated rate law once again it will be k is equal to yes it is uh, 2.303 t log a naught divided by A. This is the form of integrated integrated rate law for first order reaction. Okay. If I rearrange this equation, just let's rearrange this to write it in this form. A naught upon A, which is equal to yes, K divided by 2.303 into t or plus let's say nothing or zero this form we get this form after rearranging now this has something very interesting if i compare this form of the integrated rate law for a first order reaction with the equation of a straight line what do i get that if i plot a graph with this term log a naught by a on y axis and time on the x axis will get a straight line with a slope equal to 0 or passing through horizon and the intercept is equal to 0 or passing through horizon uh, and the slope will be equal to k by 2.303. So this is the way we calculate the value of k for a first order reaction experimentally we just plot this this term log a naught upon a with time we get a straight line passing through a reason and the slope will be equal to k upon 2.303 now let's try to solve us example based on the first order reactions the example says that a first order reaction is 20% completed in 10 minutes. So we have to calculate the time taken for the reaction to go. Yes, 80% completion. Let's write this, which is k is equal to 2.303 upon t log a naught upon a. 
now what uh, we have here that time is yes 10 minutes 20 percent completion means if the initial concentration was 100 then the final concentration after 10 minutes will be after 20 percent completion it will be 80 so we have to find out k now let's solve it for the value of k substitute these all values in this equation and what we get that k is equal to 2.303 divided by time is yes 10 minute log this was initial 100 in the final after 10 minute it will be 80 and when we solve this we get 0 0.0223 per minute is the value of k for this particular reaction so from the first part of problem we are able to find out the value of rate constant now again repeating the same thing what we have to find out that the time taken we have to find out time for 80 percent completion 80 percent completion means if the initial concentration was 100 the final will be yes 80 we have just calculated the value of k for this particular problem this was 0 0.0223 per minute and we have value of k we have initial concentration we have final concentration uh, okay after 80 percent completion it will be 20. so now we have to find out t and the value of t can be again calculated using this equation the equation integrated rate law it will be t is equal to 2.303 divided by k log a naught pass yes it was initial concentration was 100 it is 20 substituting the value of k we get 2.303 divided by 0 0.0223 log 50 log 5 and solving this we get t is equal to 72.18 minute it will take 72.18 minutes to complete this particular reaction by 80 percent so this was a solved example this was all about first order reactions the first order reactions are very important there you will find number of questions based on first order reactions only so go go through this topic number of times try to solve as many problems as you can so that the concept will be very clear to you again i'm repeating this is a very important topic i hope it was clear to you let me finish with this thank you